guys, I'm back. We're out here on some crown land doing some camping this beautiful weekend. And well, we're, Kevin's got the fire going, so you, you might see him popping in and out to tend to it. Uh, I'm gonna do some crafts. So what I'm doing, I'm going to make these sun sandals. It's a leather sandal. So it's a leather slip-on sandal made out of a single piece of leather and tied with some leather lace. If you like going barefoot but hate how dirty your feet get or you get pine sap or cuts or whatever, want a little bit of protection, these are a good way to go. Simple and easy to make. Um, so this one I made for Kevin. <laughs> the size of my arm. I'm gonna make a pair for me. So what I've done, I got this jacket for, it says $14.49 from Value Village. It was half price. And right now I have just cut off the back. It's an imitation leather, that's fine. Uh, if you can find some real leather, that's great. But feel free to upcycle. So I've got the piece from the jacket. I'm gonna put it down leather side down and step on it. You want enough on either side to not quite reach the center and around to fold up and enough to come at the back and go up your heel just a little bit. So I'm going to find my pen. Just a minute. <laughs> so you put your leather down, put your foot on it. So you want enough to wrap up the side a little bit. Does It can overlap or not, but a little bit of space is good. Enough to bunch around your toes and come up the back as high as you wish. So then I'm going to take a pen and just trace my foot. So now I have my foot outlined. So like I said, we've got our foot traced out on the leather, the fabric. <laughs> You're getting a lot of smoke in the camera. It's all good. First, I'm gonna kind of round off the, the front of the foot. Kind of the same shape as her foot. So it's just kind of rounded like that. Next, for the heel, I'm going to cut from the back about the almost the width of of the foot to about an inch before the drawing of my heel. There we go. and cut in from the side to meet that spot. So we've got kind of this little T-shape. 
upside down T shape. Then I'm going to cut down the part that goes up the heel to a little closer to my drawing lines. So we've got some little little tabs down in there. Next, I'm going to take, so find the widest part of the foot and go about an inch down and cut into just before about an eighth of an inch towards the uh, your line and then mark it cut the same on the other side and then I keep just looking over to the other shoe that I have so and then the other part the next we're gonna make three cuts about an inch apart to inch, inch and a half, two inches, kind of depending on your foot. Um, so from where the widest part of your foot to kind of where your, it starts to come out to your heel again, kind of there. So if you had it Add it up against your foot, kind of where the top of your foot is, like your ankle would go down. If you draw down, you have that little bump there, kind of where that is. So I'm going to make a little tick. Cut down again, just before the line. And then you're going to split that into three equal parts. So with two cuts down and down. Now here on the inside, you don't want to go quite as far down. It's easier to cut further down later if you wish than to cut too far. And then a same on the other side, right across down. So you have a middle part and you can cut this into three. Like that. So, and then the next thing I do, so uh, from the back, I don't want this just straight across. So I'm going to make a little, little whoosh. So just cut a little semicircle out of there. I'll do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to just kind of put it down and put my foot on it to line, see how things are lining up. So this is going to get all pulled in there. 
which is nice. It covers. This will come there. Two, three. With that little semicircle I cut out, it's nice around the little bump on either side. And up the back. So I like the way that is looking, how that was looking and fitting on my foot. So next, you can use just a, a sharp pointy knife or even a needle, make a hole. I've got a leather punch. This makes nice little holes. I'm going to punch some holes in my leather. So for the back, I'm going to cross over, kind of fold the side piece back and the back piece up above it. So that's going to fold like a wrapping a present, nice little corner. And I'm going to make some holes up the back for our lacing. So I take, got it folded. Take my hole punch. One, two, three. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Fold up the leather so it overlaps. Try and line it up with the holes on the other side. One. Two. This one didn't go all the way through, so I'm going to repunch that one. So now, so I've got my hole punches in the back. Now I'm going to punch a hole at the tip, near the tip of each of the front part. And before I punch the hole in, in these side ones, I'm just going to curve them off, round off the edges. So I've got three round, uh, these are essentially straps and we're going to punch some holes again we 
we've got our three little holes. Next, I'm going to do it to the other side. Don't do like I just did and while you're cutting around one, yeah, cut right through the strap on the other one. Oh well, no big deal. You now as Boss Ross or Bob Ross used to say, happy little accidents. We have happy accidents. It's not a mistake, it's a happy accident. So I'll just make that one shorter. <laughs> All right, so I've got my three with one really short. Hole punch again. There we go. Next, I need to put holes all around the toe piece, and I want an even number of holes. So, I'm actually going to trim this end a little bit. If you try to line it up, it's not going to line up the same because your foot's not perfectly round circle. But I'm going to try and line it up somewhat. That way my holes are evenly spaced. So they're about a quarter inch from the edge, between a quarter inch and half an inch. You just don't want it too close. I'm just making sure that the edges are lined up ish. I don't measure, I go by ish or measure with your heart as they say. And also with folding it in half, I now know for sure that I have an even number of holes all around the toe. So next I've got some black leather lacing. I'm going to take a piece about the length of my of my uh, slipper, my sun slipper, sun sandal, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to lace up the back. So I know when I uh, punched the holes, I had the side piece over top but this time while I'm lacing I'm going to put the side piece behind. I'm going to take one end of the lace as I've got it behind and put it up from the back through the side hole and through the center piece hole. And then I'm going to take the other side of the lace, same thing, up through the side hole, and then through the center hole, pull the lacing until it's even. you've already seen you start to get your little heel patch. Then cross over and go down the center piece. 
and down the side. Other side, down the center. Down the side piece. And you've got a cute little X at the back. And reverse it. So we're going to take cross over up the center piece or up the side piece and up the center up the side piece up the center piece this is a really 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 thin fake leather so it's a little floppy but so now I've got an X on the inside and we can just tie it off tie it off however you wish uh, I might for ones I'm doing this summer for some friends kids I might put some little bells on the back or some beads on the back but for me for this time I'm just gonna tie it off just like that so now we have our heel pocket now i'm going to take another piece of leather um i think i'm gonna do just just more than the length of my slipper And it doesn't really matter which side you start from, whether you start from the big toe side or the pinky side, but just start from the top and go down in your first hole, up the next hole. And you're just kind of lacing it up and down. until you have it all done. So you're just lacing it like this. So now that I'm at the end, I'm just going to snug it and I'm just going to loosely tie it for now. So now we have the toe cap. So we have our heel and we have our toe. Gonna take another piece of leather lace again, just longer than than my slipper. And now we're gonna lace up the little straps. So I'm gonna start at the straps closest to the toe. And we're gonna go down on each side. That's gonna to be too short. <laughs> we'll go twice the length of the slipper. It's okay, I'll be able to use that piece of lace for something else. 
again <laughs> with your lace going down Because this is so flimsy, let's try lacing it on my foot. Give it a little bit more stability. Put the toe in. Bring the heel up. So we're down through one. down through the other side. Then just like lacing a tennis shoe, take the lace from the pinky side, go up or go down, whichever way you want really. Nope, go up. I'm going to go up. You see it's coming together. And then back to the heel piece. I forgot to put a hole. And tie it off. And we had this loosely done up and it's kind of come undone. So again, wiggle your foot to get it where you want it to be. And tie it off. Depending on the type of leather you use, this will have different amount of stretch and with the lacing you can readjust that stretch anytime you want. But there. Now you have a little sun sandal protect your feet from stepping on things but you still get to connect with the ground like I said you can use like I did an old jacket of upcycling some fake leather or if you can get your hands on some nice deer or moose you can make ones that will probably last a lot longer than these ones but anyways, get out there, enjoy the beautiful weather, and I'll see you next time, because why not?